Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. All right, time to get into work. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you want to watch any more of my videos? One more can't hurt. Actually, it might even help. Just stick around. You could watch my morning routine. How about that time I cut my hair? Or did you know that I don't use soap? That's some That's pretty weird. quality content right there. I've really got to... Ah, oh, fine. One more. One more. Ah, oh, wonderful. Just sit back, relax, and let me see what I recommend for you. Hmm. So, oh, you could start with the documentary behind the scenes. Then you could watch the actual documentary. Oh, do you feel like some music videos? Because there's quite a few good ones on here. And then maybe some more... I'm so sorry. Does it look okay? Can you fix it? Thank you. It's the time. Whoa. Okay, are you ready? Okay. I need to tell you a secret. It's something that I'm actually really ashamed of, but I feel like by me talking about it will hopefully help me and maybe it'll help some of you as well. I'm really addicted to YouTube, like really addicted. It's not good. And this video or something like it has actually been requested by a few of you because I feel that so many of us share this same issue. And so I wanna give you a big thank you and shout out to those lovely people who requested this video. And I hope that this can help you in some way. Like any social media platform, YouTube is specifically designed to be addictive, which is great for the CEOs of YouTube, the shareholders, and let's be real, the content creators. But for the viewers, this can be a real problem. But why is it a problem? I think it's fair to say that a lot of us have some sort of screen addiction or rely on it too much. I can only speak for myself here, but being addicted to YouTube goes further than just watching too many videos. I use this platform as my primary form of procrastination. Before I get into work, when I'm stuck with work, when I don't want to do it, when I'm having a break, guess where I am. Of course this affects my productivity and every time I have to pay the price by staying up late to finish the work that I didn't get done or I have to miss out on something because I no longer have the time for it. But the really detrimental effects lie in my self-talk. When I procrastinate through YouTube or just spend more time than I would like to on the platform, I feel really horrible about myself. I tell myself that I'm lazy, weak, unmotivated, stupid, and I just feel so much self-loathing that I feel sick and anxious. I get so angry and upset with myself that I put punishments in place. I won't let myself do a workout or relax after dinner if I've spent too much time on YouTube that day instead of my work. Furthermore, this means that I hardly ever have me time or relaxation time. Because I use up so much of my time with procrastination, I have to spend my relaxation time working. So my relaxation time is now procrastination time, which means I'm stressfully relaxing which means I'm simply not relaxing or enjoying this time. Overall, I just feel so disappointed in myself that I can't put my priorities in front of this platform. And I so often forget that it isn't about willpower, intelligence, drive or motivation. It's an addiction and they are so freaking hard to break. So clearly I'm not an expert on addiction or ridding addiction because I'm still trying to wrestle with my own. But in this video, I wanted to share with you some things that I've implemented in the past that have helped me and how I'm trying to move forward and help manage slash break this addiction. There are so many different methods to break an addiction from starting slow or going all in. But the techniques I wanna focus on today are for those who can't effectively set time boundaries or turn it off after one video. For the people like me. 
Firstly, the technique that I find helps me the most in general and the one that I keep coming back to is the 5-4-3-2-1 rule. Basically, if you don't do something within five seconds, then you're not going to do it. So before, when I feel that compulsive pull to check YouTube, I stop, count one, two, three, four, five, and let that compulsive pull hopefully slide away. I'm much less likely to check it if I count to five. Similarly, if I'm already on the platform and want to get off, instead of waiting until the video's finished or clicking on another one, I count one, two, three, four, five, and turn it off. This technique is about becoming more intentional with our actions in relation to the platform and gaining back some of that control. Another method I find really helpful is simply working without internet. When I have a really important task or a deadline that I need to hit now, I simply disconnect from the internet, put my phone on the other side of the house and knuckle down. Not only does this obviously help my productivity, but I just feel so much better after a few hours offline. I also love a three day social media break. It's not as extreme as a 30 day or anything longer than that, but it is long enough to start breaking or start chipping away at the addiction and to open yourself up to being bored. Because being bored is actually the most amazing thing. Your creativity will flourish and you'll start spending time and doing things that you actually really enjoy doing and things that bring you happiness. Whether that is creating or it's spending time with loved ones or it's just spending time with yourself and treating yourself really well. And the final piece of advice I can offer you today is take a 30 day social media break. I've done a few of these in the past and they have been one of the most transformative, effective and positive experiences I've had. They have definitely helped rid slash break my addiction with a lot of other technology. And it's almost a guaranteed way to increase my happiness. It's only when I take this time away from screens that I realize how much happier and calmer I am without it and how much stress, anxiety and negativity screens, especially when I'm addicted, affect me. I've made a few videos in the past of my experience with these challenges and how exactly I've undertaken them. So if you're interested, then I've linked them down below for you to check out. There are of course other methods available out there to help manage slash break addictions and I've linked some what I find to be helpful resources in the description below. The most vital piece of the puzzle here is to repurpose this newfound time to something that makes you happy. Proud, confident, fulfilled, whatever incredible feeling you want to feel. Use this time to feel it. This is by no means going to be an easy thing to do, but I feel like if you're still here with me on this video, then it's something that we both need to do for ourselves. We need to put our health and happiness first and try and find more balance in our lives. So if this means not watching some of my content or never watching any of my content again, by all means, take that step. That is totally and 100% more than okay with me. So I'm going to start by taking a three day social media break. I will still need it a tiny bit for work purposes, but apart from these very far and few occasions, I will not be present on these platforms. Feel free to join me with this technique or if you try this technique or any of the other techniques, I would love to know in the comments. And if you feel comfortable coming back after you've finished, I would love to hear how you've gone and if they helped you in any way. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate having you here. And I upload new videos every Thursday, but if you are struggling with an addiction, please don't feel compelled to tune in. I love and appreciate you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, there you are. Where have you been? We have so much content we need to watch. Okay, what do you think about a little music video? Huh? Dance monkey? What do you nah, think? Nah, I'm good. Wait, no, wait, no.